Now, let us see a problem based on the mole concept. Okay. So, the problem here is in 3.6 grams of glucose, calculate the number of, first we have to calculate the moles, then the number of molecules, then atoms and the number of carbon atoms. Okay. So, once you know this first, the compound is glucose. So, let us calculate the, like, you know, the molecular weight of that compound. So, what is glucose? Glucose is nothing but C6 H12. O6. Okay, so what is the molecular weight of this? So there are 6 carbon into the atomic weight of carbon is 12 plus hydrogen there are 12 atomic weight is 1 plus 6 oxygen into 16 atomic weight. So this is equal to 180. So we will take it in grams. Okay. Now the given weight is 3.6 grams of glucose. So the first one to calculate the number of moles. So, what is number of moles? Given weight by molecular weight. So, given weight is 3.6, the molecular weight is 180. Okay. So, this would give you 0 0.02 moles. Okay. Now, the second was to calculate the number of molecules. So, first step write it like that and multiply into the Avogadro number that would give you the number of molecules. So, the first step is 3.6. So, let me first write molecules. Here it is 3.6 divided by 180 into the Avogadro number that is 6.023 into 10 power 23. So, this would give you 1.2 into 10 power 22 molecules. Okay. The third one is the calculation of atoms. So, the first two steps are same like you know in most of the numeric calculations. The third step is where the variation takes place. So, here we have to calculate the number of atoms. So, the first two steps as I told you is the same. So, let me write that first 3.6 divided by 180 into the Avogadro number into 10 power 23. Atoms. So, how many atoms are there in glucose? There are 6 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atoms. So, this would give you totally 12, sorry 24 atoms. So, multiply this into 24. So, this would give you 2.88 into 10 power 23 atoms. Okay. Next, we have to calculate the number of carbon atoms. So, as I told you, the first two steps are the same, carbon atoms. So, let me write that again, 3.6 divided by 180 into 6.023 into 10 power 23. Here, they have asked only carbon atoms. So, how many carbon atoms are there? There are 6 carbon atoms. So, multiply by 6. So, this would give you 7.2 into 10 power 22 carbon atoms. In case they ask you oxygen atoms, again you have to multiply by 6. In case they ask you hydrogen atoms, multiply by 12. So, this is how you have to proceed. 